Number 11. Write a brief description or a definition of each of the following, and then we have the nucleide. All right, well, what is a nucleide? Well, I do see that I have the, you know, beginning word of nucle. Uh, I guess nucle. <laughs> nucle. What, what word pops into your mind when you see the word nucle? <laughs> did you say nucleus? If you did, ding, 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 that was the word that I was thinking of, right? A nucleide has to do something with a nucleus, right? And in, in essence, I mean, a nucleide is when we, we can say that we have a nucleide if we have a single, so one, uh, type of nucleus. So it's just, it's just a nucleus value. Now just know that, you know, if you have it in a nucleide notation, right, you have three things that you got to deal with generally, right? We always usually see a big box and then we got two small boxes. And this whole thing represents the nucleide. Now let's just pretend nu yeah, nuclide. Nucleide, I guess. Let's pretend that we're talking about, I don't know, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. All you gotta do is just focus on something that has a nucleus. Now just know that this does not include any of your electrons or your positrons because they are not in the nucleus. But anything else that has, you know, subatomic particles in the nucleus, it will be classified as a nuclide. So if you want to do maybe a, I don't know, we could take it to the extreme. We could talk about maybe a carbon atom. This is your atom, right? Your single atom. Single just means, you know, one. So whether you want to talk about a carbon or you want to talk about an aluminum or you want to talk about, you know, even a helium, right? If you wanted to do an alpha particle, um, it doesn't really matter, right? We'll put carbon maybe here. Then the bottom number is your atomic number. That's the number of protons that are in the nucleus. So every atomic number is, is uh, unique for that atom. So carbon's atomic number is always going to be six. If you look on the periodic table, it's always got six protons. The mass number, right, the atomic mass can change because you can have different isotopes of carbon, but the bottom number is always going to stay the same. So maybe I have, you know, a 12 atomic mass, a six, uh, you know, a 13, a 14. Just know that your atomic mass is your protons plus your neutrons. So if you did want to find out, you know, how many neutrons also are in that um, nuclide, right? You just subtract the two numbers. 12 minus 6 is 6. But all in all, that's what a nuclide is. It's just a single type of nucleus where you just denote what the atom is, how many protons you have, aka the atomic number, and the atomic mass. And that's it. I hope that helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And, you know, if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, right, that helps us out. It just gets the word out there that this channel exists. We also just opened up memberships for the new um, school semester this upcoming year. So if you want to be a member and you want to get more perks from us uh, personally, you can, right? Not obligated, though, not mandatory. But any little bit helps the channel, which ultimately helps you guys out. Uh, but, yeah, go check it out. And I hope you guys have a great day, okay? I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.